All right, in this video, I'm going to give you five legit reasons for why you should choose ebooks over the real books. So before getting to the video, I would like to give a huge thanks to my friends Said Miharaj Abu Bakr uh, as well as Parveen Bint Ashraf. Both of them kind of supported me on Instagram by mentioning me on in their stories. And also to Simran, uh, my friend Simran, for giving these encouraging words and supporting me. So thank you. Hi there, I'm your friend Shamim Khaipi and in our channel we explore ways to be truly productive, immensely happy and grateful for life at the same time. So without further ado, let's start today's video. So let's get to reason number one. Reason number one is actually minimalism. So for those who don't know, minimalism is this idea that the less stuff you have, the better it is. So minimalism is like a tool that you can use to get rid of the life's excess that you have and it helps to focus on what's truly needed and what truly makes you happy and provides you with fulfillment. So that is this idea. Minimalism is this idea. If you seriously have no clue about minimalism, I would recommend you to watch videos of uh, Matt Tewale. He's an amazing creator and I would definitely recommend you to watch his videos. They are amazing. I'm kind of inspired by him as well. Okay, now let me explain how ebooks help with minimalism. So when you're buying real books, they take up real physical space. So it's plainly simple that when you buy ebooks, they don't take up really real, real actual space. So it kind of benefits you by promoting minimalism. Okay, now suppose if you are an extreme minimalist and you also buy real books at the same time, now you have actually two options if you are actually an extreme minimalist and you actually care about the stuff that you own there are two options you can either either gift that book to someone else or you could just throw them in trash uh, the second one i think it's a bit dumb the first one is kind of fine but in both of these cases you actually lose that book so the problem here is that you won't be able to refer back the things you read or the things you highlighted or what do you say or if you wanted to reread the book again you have given you, you have already given it to someone else so you won't be able to do that that's that's a problem so you won't be you won't be able to retain more stuff from that book later so this takes me to my second point which is retaining more point number two okay Re retaining more so i used to be this guy who used to read passively I used to read books passively, I didn't use to highlight or do any kind of stuff. Then I discovered this awesome, awesome, like amazing life changing service. It's called Readwise. It's not sponsored at all, but I truly believe that this service can truly change your life. So what Readwise, what Readwise does is that it kind of randomly chooses five highlights from your Kindle highlight bank, I would say. So I assume if you're reading digitally, you you would have a Kindle account and you highlight phrases and things that you may find particularly uh, resonating or the things that you might have to refer back, those kind of stuff, we usually highlight them. So what Readwise does is that it kind of randomly picks up five of them and sends you them through mail every single day, just five of them. So what this essentially does is that you won't forget any, any of the highlights that you may have, you may have even highlighted like five years ago so this is kind of like a very very advantage the primary way i engage with this service is actually through what do you say widget it's widget so as you can see this is my ipad i have a widget over there so right now the widget is showing a phrase a thing that i highlighted from the book the four hour work week by tim ferris it says develop the habit of asking yourself will i definitely use this information for something immediate and important so that, that is it. This widget has completely changed my life. Like I can't even exaggerate even more than this. Like this is amazing. This is just the best thing in the world. Uh, the reason why I say this is so I kind of passively read all of this stuff. I don't have to actively kind of force myself or make myself to read all of these highlights every now and then. It will just do it without me even knowing like every time i open my ipad i see this widget and I'm, I'm like okay okay that's it that's it so over time i won't forget any of the highlights that i may have uh what do you say i may have highlighted in this kindle thing one thing that readwise provides is that it gives this tiny bit of what do you say tiny bit of phrases or highlights now what i do with this is that when i 
when I read them, I try to use them with real life people. For example, <laughs> there was this incident like uh, I asked my dad to actually, you know, to place an internet broadband in our house. So the thing is that in our area, I live in a village. So our internet isn't that fast. It's, it's okay, it's average. So I wanted an internet broadband. So I said, I said that to my dad. So he was like, okay, we will do that someday. Okay, we will definitely do that. Then I was like, nope, no, no someday or someday. I had read in this book, uh, it's called The 4 Hour Week Week, The 4 Hour Work Week. It's a book by Tim Ferriss. And in that book, he says that someday is a disease that will take your dreams to your graves with you. I try to use this all the time. Like when I read these highlights, I'm like, I'm gonna use this some, somewhere today. That's, that's what I think first. Okay, now let me get to the third point. The third reason. The third reason is actually traveling. When you travel, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's literally impossible to take your whole wardrobe of books with you. So one thing that you can do is that you can store everything in a single device and read any of your favorite books when you are on your vacation or traveling or you when you're on airplane or something like that. You can take all of your books so it kind of gives me a piece of my like I have all of my books with you I have all of my books with me so I don't have to worry about all the stuff that I've all the books that I left behind in my house so it's kind of it kind of gives me a peace of mind when I'm traveling like I have all of my books with me so I don't, I don't have to worry about if I will be able to read this book or that book so that is kind of a really nice advantage to have like having this peace of mind like every single book that I've read and I'll read or I'm reading right now everything is in my iPad or Kindle thing so that kind of gives you a peace of mind so that is my third point why I think that ebooks are better than real books my fourth point is less friction to get started when, when you when you're buying a real book uh, for example if you're buying it from Amazon uh, what you'll have to do is that you'll have to buy that book you have you'll have to physically click on your phone and that would take like seven days to get arrived at your home then you'll have to take that you'll have to open that it takes a lot of friction to actually get started but the thing with ebooks are that you could just open your amazon kindle account you would just click on a book do the payment and start reading so there is there's this what is a friction gap what would you call yeah a huge friction gap between real books and ebooks when it comes so if you're a person who's kind of actively trying to build this app habit of reading i would say ebooks are much better for you because it takes less friction to get started you won't have to do a lot of steps and you won't have to wait a lot uh, in order to get started so that is a legit reason so in my case i used to have a lot of books i, I still have it's in my wardrobe so uh, i had these books with me but i never used to read stuff that is because it was really hard to take that physical book outside and open it this might sound a bit silly but this is actually true our brain only does what it thinks is easy to do easier to do but since i started to read on kindle what happened is that i have my ipad with me all the time so the only thing i had to do is that just to just open the kindle app that was it so there was this very less friction to actually get started reading and also to continue that so there is this thing like this friction this friction thing is that it takes very very less friction to get started it takes very less friction to keep going on so i think that this is an obvious point you should why you should prefer ebooks over real books so that was my fourth point my fifth point is that these ebooks are less pricey than real books so in order to make real books it actually takes real materials and it, it takes a lot of expense but when it comes to ebooks it, it, it's just it's just what do you say pixels blinking on your ipad or kindle or whatever so it takes less money to buy them the benefit here is that let me tell you uh, imagine if a real book is two dollars on amazon and the kindle alternative for that same book is just one dollar on amazon what, what what would you buy so when you think about it you can actually buy two ebooks at the same price of buying a real book so you can so you can read more with less money so this does not apply to everyone if you're kind of a rich person who doesn't care about money then 
this is definitely not one for you but I'm a student I'm a high school teenager so it actually matters for me so I can read more with less money being spent however I also do think that this is the least important point like you shouldn't actually care about how much or how much a book actually costs for you because the value that you get out of these books are much 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 more than that price that you give for it okay so these were the five reasons why I prefer ebooks or real books do let me know what's your opinion on this and that was it guys i hope you guys liked this video and we'll see you in the next video peace